very good afternoon my friends how are you hope you guys are doing very well and welcome on this new weekly market analysis video from extreme trader this is Salah speaking so i'm very glad to share with you our results of the forex signals group of the past two weeks as you can see the first week was not really good week because of the unexpected news about the vaccine of COVID 19 being released and uh, it was really hitting the market and causing the signals to go in other directions however the week after as you can see these are the results we are used to see from extreme trader as you can see also all of the days have ended in a very deep and good profit making us ending the whole week in more than 524 pips of profit really amazing each and every single day has ended in a profit and trust me guys that is something rare to see with any signal provider and i wanted to share with you also the happy news if you remember this gentleman here he have sent me last week that he have made almost 500 dollars in one, one single day using our signals he just sent me yesterday a great message and he showed me that he have made almost two thousand dollars actually more than two thousand dollars in just one single day using our signals amazing really amazing and that is what i'm really happy to see i mean this guy here he have been with us i think for more than three years and that is what i'm trying to say here if you spend enough time with our signals and using our, using them you will understand how to make really good profit using the signals if you just give them some time and stop judging them after one or two days that's not how signals work so you cannot judge them in short time you have to spend many months or weeks at least with the signals to understand how to use them and and you will end up making a lot of profits i'm very happy for this gentleman and i really wish every every client will be making the same profits and enjoy them so if you wish to join extreme trader forex signals group please contact our support you can find their contact details in the description below this video contact them today and hopefully we will see you there all right so let's now begin the weekly analysis and as usual we will start with the euro usd now the euro usd is almost there at the take profit level of the signal from the last saturday and therefore of course the signal has been finished and i think we have made total of uh, 117 pips of profit from this signal now let me delete the current signal and let's draw the new one now let's see what's happening in the market right now so for the euro usd as we can see the market now is approaching a very strong resistance level and the market has already uh, reached that level now let's draw the resistance zone and let me just show you the resistance zone is exactly like that perfectly fine now what we can see right here is that resistance zone is very strong and we cannot ignore it we can see that the market has uh, by the way remember i'm on the daily candles all right so this is daily candles we're talking about each time the market has reached this zone right here it has made the reversal and as you can see the market recently has been able to close actually as a full bar inside the resistance zone what does that tell us it tells us that the market actually might continue the, now the rising however we have to see the next candle and most likely what we're going to happen is we are going to retest the broken resistance right here and after that the market is actually going to continue the rise right after finishing the pullback after hitting the resistance level therefore let's go back to the four hour time frame and what we can see right here we had right here the level of the resistance exactly right here and what we can see right here that is the resistance level and it was also another resistance right here and that was the strong bullish breakout candle and that was another uh, bullish breakout candle as well and this is the reversal point so we can expect from the market actually to fall for that resistance level to retest the broken resistance and after that the market is actually going to continue the rise of course this analysis is also supported by the weakness of the us, US uh, dollar cur uh, current um, currency and i have already analyzed the dxy uh, chart and based on that i am making this analysis already so just to saving your time i'm telling you that this is the signal for the upcoming week so therefore we can start actually buying the euro usd at the level 1.19303 that's gonna be our best level to start buying the pair and let's just mark this low the next support level right here as our safe zone so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 50 or 51 pips no more and let me just try on oh, um let me draw for you this the edge of the safe zone just like that 
and of course if that happens we're gonna aim actually the top the highest level of the resistance right here and we are again gonna aim actually about um 80 pips of profit hopefully also we will make them so let me just write for you the take profit level <clears throat> is gonna be 1.2010 sorry 1.2010 that's going to be our signal for the euro usd this week and hopefully also it will work as well and bring us a lot of profits let's now check the pound usd right now for the pound usd as we can see the signal was going in a good profit however allow me to show you one of the mistakes i have done of the past uh, week on the signal now as you can see here let me show you so the take profit level has been selected to be the highest level of this uh, pin bar and the, the pair did not reach that level yet allow me to show you what did i miss from the last signal do you remember what i'm telling you about the perfect way to draw the resistance zone when i'm seeing this pattern here or this price action i'm telling you or asking you oh shit. okay so i'm asking you what is the right way let me delete all of that uh, what is the right way to draw the resistance zone is it on the highest top level of the uh, the wick or the tail or is it in a way that the line should be touching all of the wicks in the pattern as we can see we are having this one and having this one look at that this is actually the right way this is the right way to draw your resistance line because as you can see it's touching all of the tails in this pattern look at the left oh sorry at the right the reversal happened exactly right there exactly what i'm telling you that we should draw the resistance line that tells us that this was actually the resistance line which has which should have been selected as the target because the pair kept rising here inside this uh, zone here inside uh, this yeah, resistance zone and kept rising all the way until it hit the top of the resistance for almost 66 pips before reversing anyway what's gonna happen next What's going to happen next is that the pound USD seems like it's going to continue the rise supported by the weakness of the US dollar and therefore we're going to look for the perfect levels to start buying the pair again. Now we need to look at the strong uh, resistance level which has been uh, recently broken out from and mark it as, as our uh, new entry for uh, the buy. Now let's look at the left. What we can see right here. We can see that the pair actually has made a resistance attempt right here and even right here in the past when the market has actually made a, a previous breakout from that resistance it has immediately made another bearish breakout candle so that was what's, what we can call actually a fake breakout so the market actually was not able to break out from that level of the resistance right here and we can see that later in the future the market actually has respected that level of the resistance not only once but twice also we can see the spin bar right here and again the same thing happened when the market has actually made another what seems like an attempt to break out from the resistance the, the the bears has immediately pushed the market down and immediately it went down so there was nothing no breakout yet from that level however we can see that the same level of the resistance has already been respected again that tells us that that level of the resistance on 1.32677 is very strong and cannot be ignored now therefore what we can see right here that the market actually making a strong bullish momentum and seems like finally we are going to make the breakout from that resistance level so what we can do right now is actually starting to buy the pound usd exactly from the same level where the market actually has uh, made these resistance attempts therefore we are going to start buying the pound usd exactly let me just uh, make sure go back to the four hour time frame and just be sure of our uh, entry that is valid I just want to be sure I'm giving you the best entry possible. So yes, definitely right. And uh, let's go to the four hour time frame. And what we can see right here also is a support number one, which was also here previously a resistance. So perfectly, yes, fine. So we can start actually, we have to wait for the pound USD to fall for another um, 42 pips before it's gonna be valid for the buy. Therefore we can buy the pound USD at 1.32595 that's gonna be the best the best level in my opinion to start buying the pound usd and of course the safe zone is going to be ranging until this uh, lowest level of the support right here so we are talking about let me just reduce it a little bit more like that 
so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 54 pips no more than that and here i'm going to draw for you for you the shape of the safe zone and if in case we place the buy order right here we're gonna aim the highest level right now at that resistance now you will tell me what salah you're doing now the same mistake of the last week <laughs> the answer is simply not actually we are aiming this time a higher level of that resistance let me show you now i have moved to the daily candles and actually if i'm not mistaken the pound usd actually gonna continue the rise until it reached the top the top the peak of the resistance on 1.3603 so what's most likely what will gonna happen right now on the remember i'm on the daily candles right now we are having a very strong bullish momentum and seems like supported by the weakness of the US dollar, the pair is actually going to continue to finally make the break out from that level and reach that resistance level. It has to reach that level of the resistance again. I'm certainly sure that this is the time now it's going to happen. And of course, we still have to pay attention to the news about the uh, Brexit and if they are going to exit with a deal or not without a deal. And I'm sure everyone is really feeling boring about that subject already. However, I think that the pair is going to continue the rise. So therefore, the take profit level this time is going to be 1.34805. Hopefully also, it will work, as, uh, work for us as a good signal and we will make the 215 pips profit out of it. Let's now look at the AUD UST. Now what we can see on the AUD UST that the pair is actually now facing a strong key resistance level right here as we can see on 0 0.73789. That seems like a very strong key resistance level and the pair right now is reversing right on it however we are also facing as previous resistance which has been breaking out from as we can see right here remember i'm on the daily candles guys and what we can see right here as i told you is a previously broken resistance and right here we are having the support number one so if i'm not mistaken it's very obvious that the market is actually now uh, making the pullback after hitting the resistance level right here and it's going to fall down to create a, res uh, a support number two from that point it's going to be uh, ideal to start buying the AUD USD, and i think it's going to continue the rise therefore we are going to start buying the AUD USD at the level 0 0.73372 that's going to be our level to start buying the pair and of course the safe zone should be ranging until the next level of the support which is exactly right here so the safe zone actually we can make it shorter than that yes perfectly fine so the safe zone should be ranging for almost 56 pips only no more and let's draw for you the edge of the safe zone and if in case we started buying the pair right here at that resistance uh, sorry at that previous support where we can start actually keep the trade running now let's go this zoom out of the of the daily candles now what we can see right here that we should be aiming if we are seeing that the breakout is going to happen from let me delete this what is this all right so as we can see uh, we are seeing the uh, resistance right here let me just draw it exactly like that so we are facing a major resistance on 0 0.7398 uh, sorry 48 and what we can expect from the market if it actually if it actually made the breakout as i'm expecting it's gonna rise at least to hit the top of the resistance right here let me just uh, zoom in more so you can see it let's go to the left that is exactly our is going to be our target right here that resistance on 0 0.74367 is going to be our target so we should be aiming at least uh, let's say almost 100 pips profit from this signal so therefore our take profit level if uh, we enter the signal is going to be 0 0.74367 and i'm going to move this one here to the left so to the, to the right sorry and of course it's going it's to be visible however yes exactly like that and we can start buying the pair right here and let me draw for you the edge of the safe zone is gonna be just like that so hopefully also it will work as well uh, and bring us a lot of profits uh, from the AUD USD now let's take a look at the USD CAD now for the USD CAD signal it has worked perfectly fine from the last week and if I'm not mistaken the signal can be still valid from the last week honestly speaking I have spent a lot of time analyzing the USD CAD and I found that this support level 
it has to be approached again and therefore uh, the bearish momentum on the USD CAD is going to be strong and I think it's going to be hold it for the, for the next week. So therefore, and if in case you have opened your trade on the uh, USD CAD from the last week, I think you can keep the trade running. But if in case you didn't open the trade, then I think it's going to be totally fine to keep the trade running from the last week on the, sorry, I mean to use the same entry level from the last week. So therefore, honestly speaking, I think there is absolutely no need to say anything about the USD CAD because it, um, let me just show you here. I, I think if I'm not mistaken, I said that on the last midweek analysis video, if I'm not mistaken, I said that we're facing right here a support level and seems like the pair has reversed on that level. And as we can see, the pair on Friday night has actually still reversing on that support level. Um, so it's a strong support level. However, the bearish momentum is quite stronger and therefore we can expect from the pair to continue the fall. So therefore we can expect from the USD CAD to rise a little bit more to create a third attempt of the resistance because we are having right here attempt number one, two. So we can expect an attempt number three. And after that, the pair is actually going to continue the fall to hit our take profit level. So therefore uh, the same signal of the last week from the USD CAD is going to be used so the pair actually might rise for another 26 pips before it's going to be valid for the short therefore let's keep the same signal from the usd cad without any changes and gonna keep also the same target now looking at the uh, usd gpy the usd gpy actually has been uh tough this week and it's really hard to be expected and therefore uh let, let me just try to put more effort on analyzing the pair so let's now first move to the daily candles now what we can see here on the daily candles what is this it's annoying all right now what we can see right here on the daily candles that the pair actually facing a strong resistance level now uh, the same thing happened before if you remember from the uh, pound usd signal with the strong resistance level we can see the same thing happening right now on the uh, usd gpy the market has actually made a fake attempt to break out from that strong support level. As I told you before, we are having here a strong key support level on 104.50 and the market actually has made here what seems like an attempt to break out from that level. However, let me show you, this is the price action I'm talking about. If you guys following my, my videos long time ago, you should know already that once I see the scandal appear on a support level, I know that the market is actually going to make the strong bullish reversal. This is my favorite price action. It's usually very good indicator about a bullish reversal. And of course, if you see it on a support level, it's a good idea to start buying the pair. And of course, if you see it also on a resistance level, or, but reverse, of course, uh, for example, if we see it right here, the same candle, but reversed just like that. That means that the market is actually going to make a bearish reversal and it's going to be a good point to start shorting the pair. However, after seeing this candle right here, after its appearance, and we can see another small candle appeared, we can see the strong candle has also appeared later on, uh, making the bullish breakout candle, indicating that this was a fake breakout. However, after the bullish breakout candle right here, the market right now is making the second attempt to break out from the, from the previous support level, what, what actually seems like it's not going to work and therefore it's going to be safe to start buying the USD GPY from that point. Therefore, let's go back to the four hour time frame. Now, after deciding the direction on the daily candles, we need to move to the four hour time frame to identify where we can start actually buying the pair. If I'm not mistaken also, we can expect from the USD GPY to fall a little bit more for another um let's say about 14 or 15 pips only like that to hit again the same level of the support because we are having right here a support number one on the four hour time frame and we can expect from the pair to fall a little bit more again to create support number two and from that point it's going to be ideal to start buying the usd gpy therefore usd gpy is good for the buy at 103.938 that's gonna oh, what is this um, sorry 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 103.938 perfect 
and I'm going to select the lowest level of the support as the edge of my safe zone. So therefore, this actually no, we can make it more than that. Let's go to the daily candles. On daily candles, we can see actually that we can make it. Mm, just to be sure, just to be sure. Yeah, 50 pips should be fine. No need more than that. And not a triangle, rectangle. And this is the edge of the safe zone. And if in case we started buying the pair from that point, actually we should be aiming the highest top level of the resistance right here on 105.472. As I told you, I really trust that price action and I feel like it's gonna work out very well. And it's gonna, uh, hopefully it will not fail me. And therefore the take profit level is gonna be 105.472. Sorry guys, I'm not used to this keyboard yet. Now, of course, the reason I'm selecting that uh, level as the take profit level is because we're, ha we're having right here, let me show you, we're having right here a resistance trend line. And if we manage to break out from that resistance, the market is actually gonna continue the rise until it hit the nearest resistance after the bullish breakout from the resistance trend line. And after that, it gonna reverse and retest, of course, the broken resistance uh, trend line. That's the reason I have selected that level of the resistance. I'm not selecting it randomly, but I'm just actually saving your time because actually I'm doing all these analysis before recording just to save your time. And I'm just giving you here the, the, the signals. And yeah, definitely that's gonna be better. So uh, hopefully also the signal of the uh, pound so from the USDGPY is gonna work out uh, well for us and we will make some good profits out of it. Now let's look at the USDCHF. Now the USDCHF signal has worked perfectly, perfectly fine from the last week. As we can see, the reversal has happened exactly from the tech profit level. Look at the perfection. The reversal happened right here at the entry and it went all the way making 84 pips of profit and has reversed exactly from the tech profit level. I hope you guys have made good profits using this signal. So let's see now what are the opportunities waiting for us from trading the USDCHF. First of all, let's de delete the, uh, the previous signal. I'm going to keep this one. All right. So what we can see right here is that the USDCHF is currently facing a strong support level, as we can see right here. So it seems like the pair is actually going to reverse at that support level because we are having right here also a bullish breakout candle. So that support most likely is going to be respected again. However, the bearish momentum is very strong and I believe that the UCCHF is eventually going to fall down to revisit, to revisit that previous support right here. And therefore, we can actually start shorting the USDCHF. Now, the question is where we can start shorting the USDCHF again. If I'm not mistaken, what we can see right here, guys, is we are having here this one here. Let me show you. I need to zoom in. Zoom in. So this one here, that was actually a strong resistance level. You might not notice it, but however, it was indeed a strong resistance level because of the long tail. Sorry, the long week. The longest the week, the strongest the level. That's the basic rule. So therefore, we can see that right here that this support, sorry, this resistance has become recently a support level. And after that, that resistance right here has been again respected and become another resistance right here. Now, what we can see in the future also that that's the same level of the resistance I have just shown you has also also has been uh, respected right here. So therefore, what we can see right here is a resistance number one, and we can expect from the pair to reverse right now, making the pullback after hitting that support level. It's going to rise a little bit more for the pullback, as, as I said. And right here, we can expect from the pair to reverse at resistance number two. That's going to be our best level to start shorting the USD CHF. So therefore, we are actually going to start shorting the pair exactly from that point right here. And this is, of course, the edge of the safe zone. And it's going to be lasting for almost 51 pips or 50 pips only, no more. And let me just write for you where we can start shorting the USD CHF. So usd chf for the short as 0 0.90707 and of course the take profit level is going to be the lowest level of the support level right here so we are aiming actually approximately um 81 pips hopefully we'll make them so the take profit level is going to be 0 0.89878 hopefully also it's going to work us uh, or work uh, out uh, well for us and we will make some good profits out of it now let's check the gold 
So the gold signal has thankfully also work, worked perfectly fine from my same level of uh, shorting the pair. And the gold has went all the way in a total of uh, 438 pips of profit and has closed recently with, I think, 400 or 300, I think, more than 400. Hold on. Yeah, 308 pips of profit. So what's going to happen next with the gold? Now, definitely the, the bearish momentum for the gold is not going to stop right now. And if I'm not mistaken, the gold actually going to hold the position of the previous resistance right here, as we can see. So we're having right here a strong uh, previous support level and also a strong resistance level of the gold. And therefore, what we can see right here that the gold now is visiting the same level of the resistance. So what we can do right now with the gold? Let's go to the four hour time frame. And let's just look at the left to find a strong resistance level. As, as I told you, right here, we're having the strong resistance level at 1,788. Now, it seems like the pair actually going to continue the fall, as I said. However, it's now a matter of finding the best level to start uh, shorting the gold again. I think that the gold has already started reversing. However, we have to be uh, sure about our entry and therefore, uh, if I'm not mistaken also, if we go back to the, daily, to the daily candles, we can see that the gold actually has reversed right here from the support level on 1773. That was also a support level and also a strong resistance. However, if I'm not mistaken, the gold actually going to visit the previous support level right here. Let me just show you exactly right here on 1,800, 1, I think. Exactly, yeah, 1,800. That's actually gonna be ideal place to start shorting the gold again. So therefore, that's actually gonna be the level where we, where we will start shorting the gold. Sell at 1,800.18. And of course, because that was a previously support level right here, as we can see. And as I said, the, the gold has just reversed from the support level. And if I'm not mistaken, it's not going to stop the reversal pattern until it hit that previous support level. And then it's going to be good for the short. And this time we're going to keep the trade running until it hit the same level of the previous resistance right here, which is going to be actually right here exactly on 1765. I think the gold eventually going to visit the same level of the previous resistance right here. And after that, we will see what we can do with this uh, pair. So therefore, that's going to be the safe zone like that of uh, shorting the gold let me draw for you the edge of the safe zone remember we are right now on the daily candles so therefore uh, actually the safe zone should be ranging for almost 146 pips meanwhile the profits that we're aiming the target is actually 344 pips hopefully also we will make them so the take profit is 1765.30 the, there goes your uh, signals for uh, this week. I really hope it's going to be a very good week and very profitable one. And I think the market right now is easy to predict and these signals hopefully will work well. And definitely, yes, I hope everyone will make some good profits using them. So in the end, I hope that was informative to you and I would like to thank you for watching.